Far from its native homeland of the UK and Ireland, the history and heritage of the versatile Gypsy Vanner Horses breed is maintained and perpetuated in North America by stewards who recognize and appreciate the unique characteristics this breed has to offer. For the Sharp family of Colorado, their initial interest in the Gypsy Vanner developed into a passion for preserving and expanding upon the best characteristics this breed has to offer. Welcome to Superior Stables in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Originally developed as the working horse of the Gypsy people, bred to pull the colorful Vardo wagons the Gypsies call home. Here in North America, the best of the Gypsy's feathered cobs are registered as Gypsy Vanners. The breed was imagined resemble a small shire with more feather, more color, and a sweeter head. The shire is a strong working horse. In this case, it is scaled down in size so it can be harnessed and handled by anyone in the family. The calm draft horse temperament of the shire also makes Gypsy Vanners family friendly. When describing horses, feather is long hair growing below the knees and hocks, covering the hooves. It lends beauty and uniqueness to the Vanner breed, as well as protecting the horse's lower legs from brambles and weather. The Gypsy Vanner is unique in the world as being bred for an abundance of hair. Their horses already came in all colors. The color they wanted to add was actually white. By adding the Tobiano gene, which creates a paint or broken coated horse, these horses can easily be recognized as individuals from a distance. A sweet head is one that is smaller and more refined than the large, long head of most draft horses sometimes also referred to as a pint pot head. The Vanner's head should be shorter from the eye to the nostril, have shorter ears and a muzzle which fits in the palm of your hand. For the Sharp family, it was important to know more about these horses, including their bloodlines. Since the Gypsies did not keep written genealogy records, in order to learn as much as they could about this breed firsthand, they spent time traveling to the UK to meet and speak with the breeders. Everyone they visited with was welcoming, proud to be asked about their breeding programs and to have the opportunity to show off their horses. It has long been said that Gypsy Gold does not chink and glitter. It gleams in the sun and neighs in the dark. This statement could not be more true in describing the pride these dedicated families have in their horses. Doug, Jamie, and Kate were able to make wonderful friends to take photos and collect hair samples for DNA analysis for the horses related to theirs. Also, as a result of this study, they were able to recognize, collect, and import some of the best of the best for their breeding program in North America. Perhaps one of the most striking and recognizable traits of Gypsy Vanner horses is their profuse hair. Many have mustaches and beards, in addition to abundant manes, thick, ground-dragging tails, and bell bottoms of feather. Many owners and breeders clip the natural, unique facial hair away, especially for the show ring. Since abundant hair is a natural characteristic which demonstrates quality, Jamie likes their horses to be shown with the horses in their natural state. You can see all the feather on this horse. This is what the gypsies like, is 
a very heavily, or hairy horse is what I should say. And his name is the heavy horse of Wales. Heavy means hairy. He's got short ears, beautiful head, a mustache, a beard, a double mane, full feather on all four feet. The feather extends from the hocks down on his rear legs. The feather actually extends above the hocks. His tail drags the ground and this is about as good as it gets. Besides its breathtaking looks, the hallmark of the Gypsy Vanner breed is its temperament. Kind, intelligent, and people-loving, those who have come to know the Gypsy Vanner find their temperament unmatched in any other breed. They are easy and fun to do things with. Any well-bred horse has the confirmation to be versatile. Gypsy Vanners have developed proficiencies in many other activities beyond their ability as a driving horse. They are capable and proficient at English riding disciplines such as jumping, dressage, and pleasure classes, as well as Western disciplines of trail, pleasure, reining, and even cattle work. Superior stable horses and their offspring are competing and winning in the show ring and halter classes, English, Western, and driving classes. For Doug, Jamie, and Kate Sharp, breeding and nurturing top quality Gypsy Vanner horses is a family affair. Their daughter, Kate, has an integral role in managing many aspects of their program. Kate discusses why the gypsy horses are great for children and older adults. This is a great youth horse because unlike most breeds, they tend to think through situations as opposed to just react to them. They're very calm and easygoing. They do seem to appreciate and enjoy attention and grooming. They're also very, very steady horses, and you know they don't tend to falter or or spook. Um, they love to go. They love to be with their people. And most importantly, they enjoy having a partnership. Gypsy Banners make great horses for amateurs or people who don't want to be professional or necessarily in a high-end competitive world because there are a lot of show venues for, for Gypsy Banners and it's kind of more of a fun atmosphere. It's less competitive, everyone likes to help everyone. You know, if you forgot your brush at the edge of the arena, that's okay. If someone else has one and you're welcome to use it. If you're not exactly clear on what you're supposed to be doing, maybe it's your first show or you just haven't done it in 20 years, everyone's always there to help you and to help you work through things. You need a little help holding your horse while you show another one. People are there for you. Or, you know, there's, there's a good community of people who like to go and, and trail ride. And people who own gypsies who are around the same area all love to go out and trail ride and participate in parades and expositions and all that together. And, just kind of support each other and un, I mean it, it is a very supportive breed in general. The people are nice, the horses are nice, it's just fun to, to do and be around. 
first-hand knowledge of the breed from the country of origin and the benefits of having it is certainly reflected in their breeding program and the horses they produce today. No single stallion defines the Gypsy Vanner breed or matches with every mare. Realizing this, Superior Stables has acquired a range of diversified stallions that possess and pass on the best characteristics of the breed. The Hustler is a foundation stallion at Superior Stables. His amazing presence remains legendary in the breed. Also a founding herd sire is the heavy horse of Wales, lovingly known as Teddy. Whiskey, Salem's country maker's mark, is throwing his athleticism and his awesome work ethic. He excels in harness and in the show ring and his floating trot is what the breed is known for. Cash, Clonanine Tennessee Honey of Lexlin was selected to add his exceptional color and breed type similar to that of the Hustler. Prime, Salem's Country Optimus Prime. A junior stallion brings a deep pedigree. His first offspring are exceptional. Show Me the Sterling is line bred to one of the breed's iconic stallions, the Woolly Mammoth, and will throw his extremely heavy feather and unusual flashy marking pattern. Last but not least is the Exotic Dealer, the Real Deal. He is the founding stallion of the Dunn color line within the program.
some breeders emphasize only the characteristics of the stallion, Superior Stables recognizes the importance of the mares and what they bring to the table in producing a well-bred Gypsy Vanner horse. Accordingly, they've acquired and bred some of the finest mares in North America. With these horses, the Sharps are able to maintain and expand upon what the Gypsy Vanner has to offer, staying true to the original copy driving horse type. It's their goal to continuously breed a better horse with each new generation. For many looking into the Gypsy Vanner breed, it can be confusing to sort out the history and breeding of these horses. Hi. My name is Katie Sharp and I'm from Superior Stables in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Here, we raise Gypsy Vanner horses. Within the Gypsy Vanner breed, there are several different types. The most popular being the wagon type and the more traditional. I'm here today to talk to you about those. This is the anchor mare. She's the more traditional type of Gypsy. As you can see, comparatively to the two, anchor is shorter in the body She's smaller in size. She has a slightly shorter hip from the point of the hip to the point of the rump. And it's more rounded as opposed to being flat. She also has a slightly more square conformation to her. So from the ground, you know, you can kind of draw a square. Her back is extremely short. It's about from here to here. She's got a nice, powerful neck that comes straight out of her wither and a deep set chest that's extremely wide. With the more traditional type, you also have a smaller ear. Gypsies wanted the ear to fit in the palm of the hand with no more than about that much sticking out. She also, also has a more refined head. Though it's not small and refined like an Arabian, it's small in size but still in proportion to the body of the horse. This is Sovereign. She's more of a wagon type of mare because she's taller and slightly less refined than the traditional. So she's got a longer, flatter hip that's built for power. She's got a slightly longer back because she is a little less refined. She still has the nice neck coming straight out of the withers that's powerful. She also has a slightly more angled shoulder which helps the collar fit better and more comfortably. 
Now with her head and ears, her ears are a little, a little larger and her head is a little less refined. It's still in comparison to her body, but it's not quite as chiseled as the anchor mares, who's the more traditional type. The Sharp family welcomes the opportunity to serve as a resource for anyone wanting to know more. To help their buyers, they're pleased to network with others to find the right match, even if that match is not one of their horses. I love Gypsy Vanners because they're constantly level-headed and they have a lot of heart. They never quit trying. No matter what the obstacle, they're always willing to give it their best. In order to contribute to its growth and popularity of the Gypsy Vanner in North America, they wish to share their knowledge and journey to encourage others to be equally passionate about this remarkable breed. The Sharp family and everyone at Superior Stables wants your journey to be as incredible and fulfilling as theirs have been. Superior Stables, where breed type and quality is not a boast, it's a promise.